Hi everyone and welcome to Nurses Notes 101. Today we'll be talking about posturing. Posturing is a common outcome of traumatic brain injury. Posturing refers to the involuntary and abnormal positioning of the body due to neurological motor reflexes. One example of posturing is decorticate or flexor. So in decorticate posturing, the arms are in a C shape and all extremities move towards the core. So like in the first picture, here the patient has closed hands, the legs are turned inward, and the feet are also turned inward. So try and remember decorticate, core. A patient who has decorticate posturing will usually suffer problems with the cervical, spinal tract, or cerebral hemisphere. On the other hand, decerebrate or extensor posturing is when the arms are in an E-shaped. So decerebrate, think E, extensor. So everything's extending out. The legs are straight, the arms are straight and extended, the head and neck are arched back, and the toes are down. A patient who has decerebrate posturing indicates problems with the midbrain or pons. Unfortunately, Decerebrate is a worse prognosis due to the lower portion of the brain being damaged. Uh, the lower portion of the brain is where we have our autonomic body functions, and this could be an issue with those functions because of the location of the damage. Here we see posturing. So these are two different sorts of posturing. I would like you to look at them and tell me which one you think is each. So this is the first question here, and this is going to be the second one. Uh, the picture on the, the right side is the second. So they do look different, um, but I want to see if you guys can choose which one is the correct posture. So it would either be decerebrate or decorticate for either. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.